Hallelujah. Turn to somebody standing by you and say, Welcome to GFCC. Ah, talk like you understand it. Say, This is the assembly of God's special forces. Say, Welcome to GFCC. I am God's powerful threshing instrument. Say this one like it's a prophecy for you. I've been very excited ever since the Lord whispered this in my ears. Say the devil cannot stop me. My enemies cannot ignore me. Say I am God's mighty instrument. The devil cannot stop me. My enemies cannot ignore me. You may see it, you will soon understand. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 41, verses 14 and 16. We will soon stand. It says, Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And what will you do when this happens? Say, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Today I'm coming as a messenger from one. But I want you to note who is going to be speaking to you because it is not Yene Patrick Grace Henry coming as a messenger from one who says, I am the Lord. I'm the Lord Jehovah. I'm the matchless one. I'm the I am that I am. When you look at what is translated Lord there. Say, I'm the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. And just in case you are, you are too used to hearing the word Lord and you're wondering, so which dimension of Lord is on display here? He clarifies, says, the Lord, your Redeemer, the one who buys you back from bondage, the one who redeems you from death and destruction. And then he adds, this is a message from the Holy One of Israel, the incomparable one, the supreme one, the matchless one, the one who knows how to reorder things. Because when you understand who's speaking to you, you're going to understand that the weight of what he's saying to you is not ordinary. It's for you to take the word and run. So what is the message? What is the Lord, your Redeemer, saying to you? He says, fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help you. Fear not you that has been despised and considered insignificant. Fear not you that is considered little. I myself will help you. Fear not you that is written off and rejected. You that has written off yourself and has already counted yourself like you're not worthy. Your father, the Holy One of Israel, the, the one who has redeemed you, the Lord says, fear not. Draw the curtains on your fear because I will help you. Fear not you that is mainly trying to wriggle by and survive. Who has seen a worm? He passes by quietly. Say, I will help you. When God says, I will help you, it means he will release everything in his arsenal. He will release, he will engage the whole of his power, the whole of his might to work in your favor, to aid your success, to support you, to bear you up. And today, GFCC, the Lord your God, your Redeemer says, fear not. And the next thing he says that he wants you to know, he says, I have made thee into a new powerful threshing instrument with sharp teeth. When you look at the word sharp there, you realize, say, you have double edge. You are double edged. You turn to this side, you are highly trained and effective. You turn to that side, you are highly trained and effective. What God is saying to you this morning is that he's talking about making you something the world has never seen before. A threshing board is used to thresh grains, not mountains. When you have a threshing board for farmers, you know that you run it over grains. But God is saying, I'm transforming you into something the world has never seen before. A threshing instrument that can crush mountains and walk on hills and reduce them to dust. So this season, be prepared to be transformed from a lowly worm into God's powerful threshing instrument. Be prepared to be turned from a lowly worm into a special machine, one that is sharp, one that is double-aged, 
one that is freshly fashioned from his arsenal. Even the devil has not seen you before. So he does not know your modus or operandi. So he says you are new. You are one that is sharp. A worm just creeps by. A worm just wriggles by. He's lightweighted. He's unnoticed. He's devoid of impact. Devoid of significance. He's despised. He's ignored. He's trampled underfoot. You pour salt on it, it's gone. Not so a threshing instrument. With its heavy weight, you cannot ignore it. In fact, if you ignore it, because it has chapped it, you ignore it at your own peril. Its impact can be seen. This season... Get ready to let go of the years of insignificant living because you cannot but be seen. What God wants to do with your life cannot but be significant. You cannot be ignored. You can no longer be despised. What are the mountains God is talking about you threshing? Just in case you're looking at me and I'm sounding like I'm making poems. I'm, I'm giving poetry. See, these are obstacles to your overflow. Hindrances that say you cannot go. You cannot conceive. You cannot lay hold of that thing. You cannot proceed. You cannot expand. Hindrances to your restoration. Barriers to your manifestation. Impediments to your growth. Those things, those kingdoms that say over their dead body. Your father, the Lord your God says, you will thresh them and reduce them to dust. He says you will crush them. And reduce them to chaff. You don't trample upon things. You don't trade things by withdrawing. You trade and trample by engaging and being on the bold offensive. Now that's the word for somebody today. Draw the curtains on your fear. Because it is time to go on the bold offensive against the things that oppose you. It is time to trade on mountains, both big and small, that has kept you and your family weak small and insignificant it is time to smash and crush heels that has kept you moving from moving forward and advancing get ready gfcc to defeat what has been defeating you because god is turning you from one obscure light-weighted insignificant merely trying to survive person into an influential heavyweight if that's your word i will hear you receive it whose impact and significance can be felt and seen globally so don't be anxious. Don't be troubled. He says, fear not. Don't even be worried or fretful about obeying the instructions that are coming to you this season. Especially the ones that come to you in the place of prayer. In your actions, in your prayers, in your meditations, in your, con in your confessions, arise and go on the bold offensive. If you don't, you will never know the things you can overcome. If you don't go, you will never know whether you can overcome. You are sharp. You are new. You are a threshing instrument. So do not retreat. Whatever is, is trying to intimidate you, remember you have been made a terror to that which terrorizes. So run in the direction of your fear. Identify and stand up to your position for therein lies your overflowing victory. God is going to transform you into a person that can neither be stopped nor be ignored. If that's you, I want you to rise and say, I am being transformed into a person that can neither be stopped nor ignored. That's somebody's word. You can claim it. Say, I am being transformed into a person that can neither be stopped <laughs> nor ignored. Because when that happens, all you're going to be doing this year and the years after 2024 is that you're going to be rejoicing in the Lord. You're going to be glorying in the God of Israel. Why? He has turned you into one that the enemy cannot stop and one that friends cannot ignore. Say, I am being transformed into a person that can neither be stopped nor ignored. Say, I'm God's mighty threshing instrument. Say it like it's your word. His special weapon designed to subdue enemies. I am bigger than the mountains or hills that oppose me. I am not afraid of doing what God wants. The Lord himself helps me. I am not afraid of failure. There is no room for defeat. I am God's powerful threshing instrument. I am new, sharp, double-edged, and fit for my assignments. I am powerful, effective, and dependable. Anyone that stands on my way, 
does so at his own expense. Anything that opposes me does so at his own peril. I refuse to echo the enemy's words in my thoughts. I am being turned into a person that can neither be stopped nor ignored. The devil cannot stop me. My enemies cannot ignore me. I am a powerful weapon in the hands of the Lord. I am endued with power and might to, sub to surmount challenges. I have nothing to fear. God is with me. I have been transformed from a worm into a weapon. I am empowered to turn disadvantages into advantages. I am closed with power to remove obstacles and opposition. I live triumphantly over the power of the enemy. Shout, I am not afraid. God is making all things new in my life. Troubles, chaos, and pain are things of the past. I am looking ahead with joy and anticipation. What is coming to me, Hakaya Brozokaya, is extraordinary and glorious. I am going on the bold offensive. It is my year of rejoicing in the Lord. It is my year of glorying in the God of Israel. Keep speaking and begin to declare what is coming to you this year. Say, I'm being turned into a person that can neither be stopped nor ignored. I am an effective weapon in the hands of my God. I've been transformed from a worm into a weapon. I've become a terror to the things that terrified me. I intimidate intimidation. The days of walking in fear that are over. The days of insignificant living is gone. I am becoming a person that cannot be stopped. I'm not afraid of walking in radical obedience. God will uphold me. I am not afraid of launching out fearlessly. God is with me. God has set me up as his own instrument. God has strengthened me. The devil cannot stop me. Nobody can ignore me. I've been freshly fashioned and purpose from me is arsenal. I am who God says I am. His mighty threshing instrument. Nothing can stand on my way. Anyone that does so, does it at his own expense. Anything that stands on my way does so at its own peril. I am going global. I carry the name of Jesus. I break through the ceilings of religion. I break through the ceilings of gender. I break through the ceilings of tradition. I am becoming everything that God says I am. I lay hold of everything God says I have. I am becoming one that cannot be stopped and one that cannot be ignored. I'm a special weapon in the hand of my God. I am highly trained. I'm highly effective. I'm fit for my assignment. Another will not be sent on my behalf. That which I was sent to do will be done. And like Jesus, I'll say it is finished. Like Paul, I'll say it's been done. I've been poured like an offering. No man will take my crown. I am fit for my assignment. I am sharp. I am new. I'm highly trained. I cannot be stopped. The things that had stopped other ministers cannot stop me. The things that have stopped other women cannot stop me. The things that have stopped people's marriages cannot stop me. The things that stop the people from this territory cannot stop me. I stand in God and I become all that he sees. Jesus could not be stopped from rising from the dead. I cannot be stopped from becoming who he says I am. I am his mighty threshing instrument. I thresh mountains. I crush hills. I am powerful. I am effective. Fear has no hold on me. I'm no longer a worm. I am a weapon. 
Keep speaking into the ears of your father. 